Chucks on the lightweight, monopolized G's Brooklyn, home of thieves, baby burners get squeezed Move up, move in, apartment 22 M's 44's for the new land, trips put into in Shady broads off to a suing Who hate us little Kevin double down on the How you guys, <clears throat> how you guys doing off that day? 15 of 90 um, So yes, uh, like I just said, we're on day 15 now Um it's, um, it's, it's, it's getting pretty good, getting pretty good, um, it's a pretty good day, I had a couple of good interactions today, um, I just came back from boxing, it was really fun today, actually, um, um, and so, uh, yeah, it was, uh, I actually, and actually, I also hooped today earlier, previous, previously as well, so, my back is sore, my legs are sore, like, my whole body's sore, which is a good thing, which is a good thing, but, um, I know in the morning, so I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna feel it more, but, um, yeah, I had a pretty good, I had a couple of pretty good interactions, and I realized for me specifically, if I can get out of my head, and um, if I if if I if I'm even half of my like you know my normal self when I'm not like nervous or anxious or whatnot, and I'm just you know I'm calm and um, I know uh, for a fact I'm you know I can be a pretty funny person, just kind of chill, but um, when that anxiety starts to attack, um, which obviously obviously if I'm walking down the street and a tiger somehow just right there in front of me. That's the right time to get anxiety. But um, you know, walking into a, a coffee shop that you've never been into before, that shouldn't just give you heart heart pounding anxiety because you're worried about who's gonna be in there, who's gonna see you. Um and so that that um I've been reading this this blog or whatever, um about um about that. Um the guy mentioned I forgot his name, I think it's Ryan Cooper or whatever his name is. I forgot his name, I have to look that up, but um uh, you know, he he mentioned that um, which is which was which is which really hit me home, that um um I, I, I fear um what do you call it thing our anxiety um our fight or flight system is kind of been uh, as he put it has been hacked and so we fear things that we shouldn't that, that we shouldn't fear, and um he he said he mentioned that you have to get into your brain and reprogram that which um but I'm I'm reading a book I'm about to read a book that he that, um on on um. That he made about anxiety as well because it's really interesting thought to really think to, when you think about it because um you shouldn't really be you shouldn't get nervous of uh, speaking to another human being or just walking to a coffee shop or walking anywhere um I mean that's literally you have no unless you, unless you got serial killers working at your you walking in a, walking in a shop in a coffee shop that you know of and they ought to get you I mean obviously that's uh, that's warranted which I guess in that case you 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 shouldn't be going there anyway but um you know what I'm saying. It's, it's, it, that'd be warranted, but um, you just seeing a cute girl walking down the street shouldn't should make you your heart pound seven seven five miles an hour, or you um, you know um, you calling somebody in the like you know like like me I just I, I don't know I had this thing with like you know calling people in public like I I get like anxiety like when I'm in, like, in a public place and, and and it comes to, like calling people in public like I just don't I wait till I get by myself because I, I you know again worries about what people are saying. And there, there literally should be, be no anxiety. There should be no fight or flight. Um, you know, alarm bells going off just for me having a conversation on, on the phone in public when people really don't care. Because <laughs> people have their headphones in most of the time or talking to their friends anyway. You know, so I mean, but it just, it, you think, and also other little things that give me anxiety. It's like, why? And so, um, yeah, man, it's, it's, it should be it, push, it should be it should be a pretty interesting book. Um, I forgot, I forgot the name of the book. I, I can uh, I'm gonna let you guys know in the next video if you guys want to know. You know the name of the book, but um, it makes it makes pretty uh, a lot of sense. But yeah, man, um, I I just I, I have I have I have I've had a little glimpse. I know like if I can just calm down, and um, my true personality comes out, I can be really fun, like funny and chill person. But let me get to comments real quick. My guy, that one guy says, I've been going through the same thing now. Just recently, got out and started being in tune with the real world. It's crazy being able to relate to someone else about this kind of thing. That's true, bro. It's, it's, that's why um. It's that for, uh, one of the reasons why I make these videos as well because it's good to just relate to people who um who go through the same type of things because just because you go through something again you feel like that it affects your life it doesn't mean that other people aren't going through it as well so that's one thing that me and everybody else has to remember we, we we all you know it's always gonna be people that's gonna be going through the same thing you're going through so um it's good just to get around people and just you know to be able to relate I appreciate the comment bro. My guy Gabriel Beck says you are literally halfway to 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 fucking thirty thirty. Keep going. You are twelve percent done overall, which is a huge part of uh, um, uh, progress. Appreciate it, bro. It's uh, I'm almost there, bro. <laughs> no, 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 I'm almost at 
Well, never mind. Let's move on. My guy, Jmon G8 test stuck in my head, too. We'll get better. Yeah, yeah, I definitely believe we'll get better. Um, if you wanted to get better and you're willing to put in the work, it, it, it has to happen. Um, my guy, Dom, just said, oh, shit. He says, um, that, uh, that one, let me see, that's, that is social anxiety, anxiety comes from, anxiety comes from trying to live in the future rather than the present, listening to what other people, personally saying, is at least 50% of the communication because the one I used to feel like they're not being listened to, I used to think, I had social anxiety back in high school because I used to, I always fat instead of talking to girl, girls around me. What actually happened is that PMO makes us withdraw from people, real people, so I, we feel awkward when we have to interact with them. Most of it goes away as our brain recesses to no fat, but the rest of it comes down to talking to people. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that too, but I think that also that um that people who have anxiety before, you know, I, 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 can, I, don't, know if I, I don't know if I can say 100% that porn, you know, and masturbation to get PMO together is just like can directly cause somebody to have social anxiety. I feel like before. I feel like um, I feel like it definitely heightens. I feel like it definitely heightens um the anxiety. But yeah, I, de I definitely feel like though. I definitely feel like that um, you know, there are some people with like, you know, anxiety before you know, not not before, but I feel like um, you know um, they have um, they've had anxiety before they discovered that they had that they um, you know, before BMO. Um, before watching PMO, like you know, even back like in middle school, you know, not even um, I want maybe it's not maybe it's not anxiety, maybe it's just like you know, you kind of um away from the other kids and whatnot, and not really connecting with other kids, um, but then we throw a point into that. I think it really pushes you away even more, but um, it definitely does make it definitely does make everything a lot more worse. Like as far as like um, you know. Like uh, whatever other problems that you may have, whether it be OCD, anxiety, or whatever, I feel like it makes it a hundred times worse. Um, which is definitely why we should stay away from porn. Because, like a guy said in a, a video I watched earlier today, he said, um, um, when we watch porn, essentially we um we're looking at another dude's penis and we're imagining us being him and having sex with a girl. And it's like, um, at the end of the day, what does that do for your, you know? Your demeanor as a as a as a as a male, it's like what am I doing? But um, push your comment, bro. Um, my guy Andre says I do the exact same thing. Matter of fact, I have a full blown combos in my head. But lately, I've been getting headaches from doing it. Yeah, man. Yeah, and again, it's not. Let me take the time. Yeah, it's not um, you know, it's not us. It's like saying like we just sitting here talk, talking to ourselves all day by ourselves. It's um, pretty much it's like it's like it's like when you it's like um, saying like. I used to, I was speaking my thoughts out loud because I can't because I'm a, because I'm too nervous of doing something in public or saying something to somebody in public. Um, I'll kind of like you know when I'm by myself the crib or whatnot I can you know be that confident person or whatever in my head I can I can imagine that oh what I would say to a person if I had the confidence to actually say it to my be by myself I'd be like you know going essentially like living living in my head like if I don't if I if I don't have the confidence to say out say it to the person. Like and, and and face to face, you know, I can. If I'm at home laying down taking a nap, I can like literally fantasize about being the most confident person in the world. It's it's it's, it's, it's very uh it, it it gets me uh me very disconnect disconnected from the real world, which is which I'm assuming where a lot of my anxiety comes from. Just not not literally staying in the present moment, and realizing that um that's life be lived outside of my head, and and if I don't if I don't um get that fixed, I'm the <laughs> I, the years will go by, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna still be doing the same thing, and that's definitely a goal of mine. Appreciate your comment, though, bro. Gabriel back again says eighty percent to to go. Come on, you got this. And it feels it's a final attempt. Yo, you got this, bro. Day fifteen, make it through the day. I appreciate, it, bro. Appreciate the, the, the constant motivation. My guy BOTV says, bro, I relapsed, but I'm on day three again, and I feel no urges as so far compared to the first week I did it. That's good, bro. It's good. That's good. Um, just don't let the, don't chase the fast get you because if you, if you recently relapsed, they will be they will they will try to wear their ugly head, but just realize that you you better than that. But I see you guys soon for day sixteen. As always, don't relapse.